Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Broadcast Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRN AM for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. And here are our top stories. We'll take a look at the AFL-CIO member benefits and, of course, look at their retirement benefits. Joining me now to discuss this and a lot more is Brandon Reese. He's Deputy Director, Corporations and Capital Markets for the AFL CIO. Brandon, it is so great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Hey, Jeffrey. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I, look, I, I'm really excited to talk with you. Um, and I want to start things off. Look, I want to talk about retirement benefits. You guys just had some big announcements. We'll get to that, I think, in the second segment. But I think I'd, I'd like to learn more about the AFL CIO, get some background about who they are, their rich history, and the membership and locals that they serve. Do you mind giving us some Absolutely. background? Good. Yes, I'm happy to. The AFL-CIO is America's labor federation of labor unions that represents 12.5 million working people. Today, one out of every 10 workers in the United States is a member of a labor union. There are union members in every industry and in all walks of life. By coming together in a union, Working people are able to negotiate collectively for better wages and benefits. Retirement security has always been an important negotiated benefit for working people to be able to retire in dignity after a lifetime of work. That's why I'm so excited to speak with you today. I really appreciate what you all are doing with the Broadcast Retirement Network to inform your viewers about retirement issues because yeah. everybody deserves a secure retirement. Absolutely. And, and I mean, 12 million members... And I have spent time um, servicing a lot of these uh, pension plans over the years for many of these uh, locals working with bricklayers and iron workers, et cetera. These are hardworking Americans. Uh, and you're right, they do deserve a secure retirement. Before we, before we kind of get into, again, before we start talking about retirement, what are some of the top priorities maybe in 2021 for the AFL-CIO? Our top priority is making sure that all working people have the freedom to negotiate together for a fair share of the value that we create through our labor. Outdated labor laws have hampered our freedom to organize. That's why we're calling for passage of the Protecting the Right to Organize Act, which is also known as the PRO Act. The PRO Act will help grow our economy and help us recover from COVID-19 by providing working people with the collective power to win better pay and, and safer working conditions. We need the PRO Act to restore balance to our economy between working people and big corporations. For more information about the PRO Act, your viewers can visit our website, uh, it's www.aflco.org. And, and I wanna ask you, before we get into maybe some of the current benefits available to members, how have, the members done weathering this pandemic, this storm that has really clamped down the economy, not only here in the United States, but also worldwide. How, how have they done? Well, you're, you're absolutely right to point out the devastating impact of COVID on working people, including union members. Uh, union members, particularly in transportation and hospitality, uh, have uh, suffered layoffs uh, uh, and furloughs due to COVID-related shutdowns. Uh, uh, other union members uh, have been working, uh, telecommuting, taking care of their children in school, online schooling uh, and doing a double burden. Uh, it's a real challenge for, for, for all working people. Uh, fortunately, though, uh, the you know, vaccines are on their way. Uh, the economic stimulus has been passed by Congress and signed into law by President Biden. And so relief is on its way. And it's, a, it's in my view, a springtime for America. Uh, is right around the corner. So we're, we're looking forward to, uh, to enjoying a, a return to normality and return to our jobs uh, and, uh, and a secure workplace uh, where we're protected from, from the pandemic. Yeah, I think, I think amen to that. I think a lot of us are looking for some level of normalcy, although I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like as many Americans get vaccinated, whether that means a return to the office for everybody or if it's, if it's a rotation of some type or 
you know, even on, on construction sites, how that's all going to work. But, you know, know that you and your, your teams at the AFL-CIO are going to work through all those details. Let's, let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits because, you know, being part of a union, being able to collectively bargain gives you leverage, but also gives you the opportunity to re realize benefits. And again, we're going to talk about retirement in the next segment, but what are some of the benefits that, you're, that the 12 million members across those 56 locals get uh, through the AFL-CIO? So when working people come together in a union, we have collective power to negotiate for higher wages, better health care, a more secure retirement, a safer workplace, and a voice on the job. Unions also negotiate for important benefits like paid family leave to care for a loved one when they get sick, and workplace policies that protect women, people of color, LBGTQ people, and people with disabilities from discrimination on the job. Everyone deserves a fair return on their work, and our freedom to negotiate collectively through union is the best way to achieve that goal. Yeah, and, I, and also, I would ask you uh, safety, right? Safety on the job, on the job site uh, in your work is very important. Making sure that you're working with the uh, sponsoring employers to have the right safety protocols in place, the right tools, the right measures, so that if you're working up, you know, scaffolding or doing some welding or, you know, I, I, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, that you are protected from injury and uh, ult which ultimately can harm you of earning earning a living. That's right. COVID is an occupational safety hazard, uh, and all workers deserve a safe workplace where they have access to personal protective equipment uh, and uh, uh, procedures to minimize their risk on the job. Uh, you have to remember that essential workers in our economy, uh, they've been doing their jobs throughout this pandemic, uh, putting their lives on the line to keep all of us safe. And so we need to honor their work by giving them the voice to negotiate uh, on the job for increased workplace safety, strong health care, policies like paid sick leave uh, and paid family leave to be able to care for their, their family members if they do get COVID. Uh, these are the type of benefits that uh, unions uh, can help workers negotiate for uh, um, through, through, uh, through coming together in a union. So that's why we're calling for support for the PRO Act. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Brandon, I want to take a very quick break because we talked about everything but retirement benefits. But when we come back, we'll talk to Brandon about how the AFL-CIO provides retirement benefits to its members. You're going to want to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Are you stuck with a low credit score? A credit report and score that's causing you to be denied credit or pay higher interest rates than others for the same things? 
Then do what Terrence did and called Credit Repair for your free credit evaluation to help restore your credit. I started thinking about buying a new house and my score wasn't where I needed it to be. I called and spoke with one of the representatives and we just had a good conversation and I, I liked what he was saying. Just one call for his free credit evaluation was all it took to start back on the track to repairing his credit. I'm seeing the deletions and I'm getting the report so I know something's being done. It does make a difference to me. All it takes is one call to get started. Credit repair has given me a second chance to have a better credit score. Don't let a low credit score hold you back another day. Do what Terrence did and make the call for your free credit evaluation. Call 800-819-4152. That's 800-819-4152. Again, 800-819-4152. Welcome back. We're talking to Brandon Reese of the AFL-CIO. Brandon, thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So we, we, we teed it up real nice. We, we talked about the basics around uh, you know, information about who the AFL-CIO is, the membership, and some of the benefits. And all the benefit we didn't talk about really was retirement benefit. Let's talk about some of those retirement benefits what are, the, what are available right now to members in terms of retirement saving and planning for their future? So union members are well positioned for a secure retirement. Retirement security is best thought of as a three-legged stool. Social security, guaranteed defined benefit pensions, and individual retirement savings, such as a 401k plan or an IRA, make up each leg of the stool. Each leg is important to allow working people to retire in dignity. Unfortunately, today, few workers have access to a defined benefit pension plan or can afford to save for retirement on their own. For many, Social Security is all that they have. Now, the facts are that union members are far more likely to have access to retirement benefits through their workplace. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 94% of union members have access to a retirement plan at work compared to just two thirds of non-union workers. And union members are far more likely to have a guaranteed defined benefit pension plan that provides a lifetime of income in retirement. 79% of union members have defined benefit pension plans as opposed to just 17% of non-union workers. That's the union difference. Yeah. and and. Do you, have a, do you have a sense for how many members retire on an annual basis? And I, I should also point out that if you work in the trades, you may not retire at 65, right? There, you may retire a little bit earlier than that. And so that, that reliance on the defined benefit plan, really important. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and so there are over uh, 10 million uh, union members that are participants in, in multi-employer uh, defined benefit pension plans. Uh, the uh, percentage that retire each year is in the tens of thousands, uh, and they're able, to, frankly, able to retire because of those negotiated benefits that they've been able to achieve uh, by coming together in a union. That is why uh, unions are so important for our country, to empower working people to be able to retire in dignity, uh, and frankly, is why uh, defined benefit pension plans are so important to provide that assurance, that lifetime of income in retirement. Yeah, and and Brandon, you mentioned the bedrock, that defined benefit plan, but but you've also not you, Brandon, but the the AFL CIO has also recently strengthened its supplemental defined contribution plan. So that would be like an annuity fund or like a four hundred one k type plan. Do you mind sharing some of the details around how? you know, you, you, you and the AFL-CIO strengthen that benefit? Yes. Yeah, so in addition to defined benefit pension plans, union members also save for retirement through supplemental defined contribution plans, like a 401k plan. That's why we've launched the new AFL-CIO target date funds for defined contribution plans. These new funds offer low-cost democratic pricing of just 12 basis points, which is equal to 0.12%. That compares to an average target date fund expense ratio of 58 basis points. The AFL-CIO is partnering with Wilmington Trust, Bank of New York Mellon, and Prudential to offer these new funds that will primarily use low-cost index funds. Target date funds offer a diversified investment portfolio that evolves from a greater exposure to equity to fixed income throughout the investor's working life. These new funds 
expand the availability of the AFL-CIO family of funds to now be able to include union members' defined contribution plans. And, and, and Brandon, first, let me ask you, have you gotten any reaction from the membership in terms of strengthening the program with this new offering? Yes, I mean, the, the uh, interest has been overwhelming uh, to have a, a trusted, low-cost fund that is available uh, for union members to, uh, to invest in with their supplemental uh, defined contribution plan savings is incredibly important to be able to uh, extend our collective power to get the best pricing available. Uh, research shows that uh, one of the best ways to enhance investment returns is to minimize those investment expenses. And so we're delighted to be able to offer this kind of innovative product uh, to working families to help them invest for a secure retirement. Yeah, and, and, and to that end, uh, Brandon, what, what do you anticipate being the impact to members, both existing members, people who are in the labor movement today, but also new members that are coming in? What, what's the impact to all these groups of people? So another important benefit of the AFL-CIO target date funds is that we are going to be able to bring our collective voice to the table with some of America's largest corporations. Every working person who invests for their retirement has a voice in the governance of corporate America. If you're fortunate to have a pension plan or a 401k plan, you are likely invested in the stock market. Owning a share of stock includes the right to vote at company annual meetings. These new funds will vote proxies in according with the AFL-CIO's proxy voting guidelines in our long-term interests as investors. Shareholders vote on important corporate governance issues every year, such as the election of directors, CEO pay, and environmental and social issues, such as how the company treats its own workforce. Proxy voting is all about holding corporations accountable for their actions. And when we combine our voices, as these new funds allow us to do, we can make ourselves heard in corporate boardrooms. Yeah, well, it, congratulations to the AFL-CIO for this next step in, on, this, on the supplemental benefit. Uh, Brandon, I want to thank you so much for appearing on the program this morning. I want to, want to wish you and your colleagues at the AFL-CIO the best, and we look forward to having you back on the program again very soon. Great. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's been a pleasure, and uh, look forward to uh, watching your future episodes. Thanks, Brandon. Great to see you. Thanks for sharing your perspective. And that wraps up this episode of BRN AM. Have a topic of interest, someone you think we should talk to, then drop us a line. And don't forget, for all the information in retirement markets, technology, personal finance, so much more, check out today's edition of our daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse, and of course, our website. We're back again tomorrow. So until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Are you being audited and do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Call 800-224-6439.